Ooh, there we are. Hello, Aeronauts. Hello. Welcome to another video with me, Erin James, and look who it is. It's me, Coral Francis, on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so, because we're both massive Disney and theatre fans, I thought, well, we both thought, Yeah. Why not do a collab? And we've been thinking about doing this for so Literally long. Literally like six months. <laughs> I think the different ideas we've came up with is crazy. In that time, yeah, it's, there's been so many ideas. <laughs> so, we've already filmed one on Coral's channel. Disney related. So head on over there after this video to go and check it out. Yeah. And give her a little thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't seen me before. Because yeah. I'm great. If you love Erin, you'll love me. <laughs> yeah. Woo! So, today, because we did Disney on Coral's channel, I thought why not do theatre on this channel? Yep, so we've got a mix of the two things we love. Yeah. There we go. So on this channel we're going to do the musical theatre tag. Woo! Musicals! <laughs> so we're going to test each other and see if we've got similar tastes or not. Yeah, this could be really interesting because yeah. I don't actually know what your yeah. taste in musicals is. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. So number one. What was the first musical you ever saw? So are we going to do it with stage or like... Oh, stage. Okay, stage. it was Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. I saw it in year four because our school were doing it and I remember getting upset because they wouldn't let me audition. Ooh. And now look at me, I'm doing a degree. Yeah. Yeah, it was Joseph, but the first one I remember was seeing Les Mis in London. So, yep. Good old Joseph. <laughs> we do love it. It's just... Mm. I don't really like it, no. to be fair. But that was my first musical. <laughs> I think mine, well... I don't know if I ever saw anything before seeing in the West End. Yeah, I saw tours first. I remember seeing Tracy Beaker on stage. <laughs> I saw Tracy. Oh my god, not the tour, the story of Tracy Beaker. The musical. One. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. It might have been that. I think it could yeah, have been that. Yeah, that was one of the first things I saw. I did love it. So that's the first thing you think. Yeah. We'll, there we we'll go. go with that. We'll go with we'll, that. We'll roll it. <laughs> so, what was your favourite musical growing up? My favourite musical growing up was Grease because really? I just watched the film over and over again. Yeah, well basically, I didn't see, so I saw Joseph in year four and then I didn't actually see any theatre till I was about probably 13 or 14 years old after that. That was a bit like So that. that's probably why it was Grease, like it was just the cliche of let's watch Grease, let's watch Grease, let's watch a Disney film, let's watch Grease. So I was such a cliche musical kid because all I seemed to know was Grease and like Annie. <laughs> so I, I think mine was just, a, when I was little, like a little kid, it was just the Disney musical. Yeah. So, like, oh, and I watched The King and I once as a kid. Oh. Yeah. So there you go. I wasn't that much a kid in the <laughs> musical, but I don't think. Apart from I have never seen Sound of Music. <laughs> Wait, still? No, still, yeah, I've never seen Sound of Music. I've seen the one they did um, with, what's her name from the side? Oh, uh, Clara but I have, Yeah, but I haven't seen the original Sound of Music ever. I hate myself for it. I'm thinking about it, that, that and Mary Poppins were my main musicals growing up. I hate yeah. first I've back. just noticed something. We're both wearing the same yes. colour top. This I didn't even like, notice no. that until now. Colour scheme realness. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> how did I? <laughs> oh dear, how did I not notice that? So, <laughs> question number three. Were you ever in a musical? Yeah, not obviously professionally. Um, when I was, I did obviously Joseph in year four, as we all know. We also did a one called The Bossy Christmas Fairy, where I was a snowflake. Mm. And then I joined a youth theatre group where I did about 13 shows with them over seven years. So that was good, and that's when I played Mrs. Potts. If you watch the other video, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, I... You're like me, you've probably just done so many amdrams. Yeah, yeah. done loads of amdrams, and then just... And then not really done any musicals since I left amdram. Yeah, same. I've only done like one at uni, and that's probably yeah. it. Yeah. Favourite has to be... Oh, I don't know. See, I hated pre rehearsing for Roger and Grease, but I loved the actual show. Yeah. But Festa from Adam's Family was the best. Oh I've my ever god! Played. I literally would love to see the Adam's Family. My favourite that show I've ever done was probably actually Camp Rock. Like the oh. show itself was absolutely pants, but the cast and the experiences yeah. and the rehearsal process was so much fun. Um, I also loved Footloose. That was probably one of my favourites. But to be fair, like it sounds really bad. The shows that I've only been ensemble in were my favourites. Yeah. When I was mates, like obviously I enjoyed the show, but 
but on some ball, I just got to like muck around, hang out, yeah, just more do fun. whatever. Yeah, definitely. You get closer to people. Yeah, it was so good. Like Camp Rock, we were. I was one of the rapper dudes. I was like, oh. I was Sander because they changed it to females. Oh. So I was Sander. And I got to like do a rap and was really cool and had to break <laughs> dance. I love how it's still Disney themed as well. Yeah, literally. What was the first musical you saw on the West End? Les Miserables. Oh, good first one. I sat front row, <sighs> cried like a baby. No, actually it wasn't. <laughs> Musical it was, but I saw a woman in black, but that's oh. a play. So musical, yeah, Les Mis. <laughs> but that was interesting to see yeah. this play first. Yeah, well, I saw, I didn't know what it was. I just went with a school trip and then ended up being scared for like a good week after. <laughs> I bruised my friend's arm. Oh, I no, scared. I literally sat on the floor in the end. So I was high. So we were the front row of the dress circle. Yeah. So I was like this, like hiding. <laughs> was, you know, like the bit in front. So I was like this, but I kept poking my head up. So like the actors on stage must have been like, is this girl alright? Like, is she okay, mate? Like, I was like, I'm just going to hide under here by the chairs. <laughs> Whereas they miss, I was like, yeah, it's like literally, I was so close, like they literally spat on me. No, seriously, I'm not even joking. Like I think I had like John Valjean spit on my <laughs> leg at one point. And I was like, you oh, wait, no, Javert, because he was like, I'm reaching for the point. I was like, yeah, you are. He's spitting on me too. <laughs> I mean, it just shows how passionate they were. Yes. So. Mine was Mary Poppins. Oh, I it needed to, to be that. a Disney show, and this was 2006. Oh no, 2006 was when I saw. I think mine was like 2012, that's eight, that's like not long ago. Yeah. 2006 was Mary Poppins, I think 2008 was Wicked, but I'm not certain. Because that was my second best to see show. Wicked. I've, I've, seen seen it. Like, I've seen it like eight times now. Oh, you beat me, I've seen it like five. Eight! I saw it twice on tour too. Once on tour. Woo! Ah. I saw it two days in a row on tour. <laughs> Guilty! I would do it. I yeah, do no. It. I've got cheap tickets, what can I say? I really want to go once where there's like a deal. And I can just see a show for the whole run and like a week. Oh my god. That no, be... that's what I want to do basically. Somebody I know works at MK Theatre. Um, so when the Adams family goes there, I'm booking a week off work to just go every day. I would so be there for that. Yeah, no, I don't care how much it costs me. There's fifteen there pound tickets. That's that's yep. seven shows. Yep. We good. Yep. I can't do math, so I can't tell you how much it's gonna cost, but not a lot. <laughs> right. So these two questions are kind of linked, but the first one is, if you could be any female character in a musical, who would you be and why? Elle Woods in mm. Legally Blonde, just because Elle Woods. Um, then, I, like, I have a few, Elle Woods, then Fontaine in Les Mis, mm -hmm. just because no one ever wants to play Fontaine, and I quite like Fontaine, plus I only get like 20 minutes on stage and I could just have a nap the rest of the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm joking, you've then got to do your ensemble Some trail, way. yeah, so, um, and then obviously Ariel in The Little Mermaid, because <sighs> Disney, Yes. yeah, so oh. those are mine, what about you? I would be, I think I'm going to say the, like, really typical one, I and mean, then, which would be Elphaba, because who doesn't want to be Elphaba? Oh yeah, Glinda, <laughs> But then, I just have a lot of choices, <laughs> but then, no, Lauren and Kinky Boots! Oh, I Elwoods. Lauren! Yeah, Lauren, yeah, I'm love changing Lauren. Elwoods for Lauren and Kinky oh, Boots. no, yeah. that, that may be. Yeah. I was going to say, Nessa Rose is just such a good part as well. Yeah. Because you get to be the proper, like, really, like, ugh. Look at me, bitch. I'm just like, I'm the sassy one, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. So, it's the next one going to be male characters. Yeah, male character. Javert in Les Mis. Ooh! I love Javert. He is my favourite person ever. I love Javert. See, mine... I've done a video on this. Oh, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. I remember that. But it would be totally... I think my ultimate dream role, just just to play him for a while and to be in Wicked properly, would be Bok. Yeah, I could see you as Bok. He's just... Oh, every time I watch it, I just always like focus on Bok and who it is. Or Lola in Kinky Boots. <laughs> Or Charlie in Kinky Boots. I don't want to be Charlie. No, I want to be Lola. <laughs> I'd be Charlie. I'd just be like, yeah. I just need to be a black man now. So if anybody wants to do that for me just for a little while, that would be great. <laughs> switch body. Yeah, just switch. Thanks, world. <laughs> right. Favorite musical song to sing in the shower? Defiant Gravity. Like, if yeah. you don't sing that, 
Oh, and with you from Ghost. Like when you're sad and then the water's like, <laughs> when you're like washing your hair and you're sad and then your makeup's running down your face and you're like, can you take my days with you? Oh no, but then still hurting's a good one to oh. sing when you're sad in the shower. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but then when you want to be really sassy, it's candy stuff from Heather's. It's like... Mm -hmm. I just like singing anything sassy. Uh, like. But then Kinky Boots is like the one to jam. Yeah, so. I always jammed Kinky Boots. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Again, we're going back to like the favourites. Um, who is your favourite theatre actress? Oh my god, that's so hard. <clears throat> so the first theatre actress who I like basically hadn't like you know like you fangirl like yeah, someone yeah. was Louise Dearman I absolutely loved her also like she's from my area she went oh. to MK theatre and stuff like that um she was my first Elphaba always will be my favourite Elphaba always will kind of be my favourite Glinda but yeah um I never saw her as Glinda though yeah Louise Dearman but now we all know if you watch my channel who it's gonna be Carrie Hope Fletcher. Can we just appreciate, like, <laughs> I'm just not gonna say anything else, just leave it at that. Carrie Hope Fletcher. What's funny is, I'm gonna say something. I, I had a... me. <laughs> quick, quick. <laughs> Plug, go see the Adams Family. I we haven't seen to. it yet, but yeah, no. I'm gonna make you feel sad though, because I had oh, a no, masterclass. <laughs> you just said two people He's so beautiful. Yeah, you're right. Shut up, Mr. Masterclass with all the West End stars. I had one with Louise Dearman. She's amazing. She's such a nice person. She's so cool. Yes. I remember I met her at the Olivier's and like basically she just, her and Gina Becker just sang for good and had won um, an award. So we were just going to go to Nando's before like the live stream of the Olivier's. Mm -hmm. So me and my friends like walked off the side in the Covent Garden Piazza, like walked off and then like Louise Dearman was like, it's freezing isn't it? And I was like, she's talking to me? You're talking to me, girl? I was like, yes, freezing. Can I get a photo? She was like, yeah, go on. And she's like, let me take my coat off. And like, she had this amazing ball gown. Hey, you liked that. Ball gown on. <laughs> and she just looked fab and awesome. And oh. I was hungover and looked terrible, but that's not the point. <laughs> she spoke to me, so I didn't care. I was like, oh my God, it's Alphaba. Oh. And obviously Gina Beck was there too, but you know, I love Gina Beck. <laughs> But it was more of that Elphaba's talking yeah. to me thing. <laughs> oh, out of choice. <laughs> right, mine. Um, I love Louise Dearman, but who who do I properly like squeal over? <laughs> Cynthia Erivo and oh, Patina yes. Miller. Like I met Patina Miller after I saw Sister Act, yeah. and I never. Till this day, I've never met someone as lovely and as down to earth as her. And yeah, they just was. Carrie's like that. I was just like, goals. Yes. But it and doesn't Cynthia. Face you. Like, I know loads of people said it was rubbish, but I can't sing. I saw that and she was insane. She just sells That's anything. the only thing I've seen her in, and that was just oh, like. That's her in Sister Act. It was just. It was no, just like, she's a babe. Just a moment. There's just a lot of West End babes. That is a lot. Babes. And the West End ones don't get as much love as the Broadway ones. No, so but they deserve it. They really they, do. Yeah. So, favourite actor. Oh, I've just said it. Michael Savior. Michael Savior. No, 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 no. Jeremy Sacombe. Javert! Uh, he was, so he was the 25th, he was the 30th anniversary class, he was also Sweeney Todd, and I think he played the Phantom at some point, yeah. There was go between my shows. Yeah, you'll notice if people play cassette, they'll have played Christine, and then if they've yep. played Ebony, they'll have played Meg, and then blah blah blah, like, yeah. It's quite a common thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, mine is between Andrew Keenan Bolger <laughs> and Andy Mantis. You, you might know from Smash. I still haven't watched that. I know the songs, but I've never watched it. Everybody watch Smash. I need to still finish season two because I still need to start I'm it. No good <laughs> Did you ever watch Britannia High? No. Oh my I god, that was so it. good. I, I know the songs get... up my heart still. Oh. It's so bad. Literally, oh, Britannia High was the one. I'm still like doing loads of stuff. I know my future. I don't know. I think one of the girls was in Tracy Beaker. Oh. Yeah, I know that, but that's about it. Mm. Right. I love how like we're sat, so like, stitches in the it's middle. Like, like I just noticed that like it's, it's like our little friend. in the in the video. Like favorite film adaption of a musical. I don't like any. They're all rubbish. That's true. There's not that many good ones. No, none of the, well, if I have to say one, I didn't like it, 
But because it's my favourite musical, I'm going to have to say Les Mis because it gives me a chance to watch Les Mis, but I don't like it. Like, I don't yeah. think any of them are very good at all. I think... I don't... I don't really think any of them are good. Dreamgirls and Hairspray are probably the two. Yeah, no, actually, I hate it. Basically, so I watched Hairspray first as a film, mm. but when I saw the musical, I actually hated it. You preferred I preferred the, the film. Yeah. yeah, now you've said that. I also quite like, I've obviously never seen the last five years, but I really like the last five I years need film. film. Yeah. I need to watch the film. Yeah, it's like, it's a bit annoying, because obviously, like, Anna Kendrick is an amazing singer, yeah. but, like, there's it's just a little bit too much of Anna Kendrick I need to hear in the space of two ah. hours. Like, it's... Mm, yes, it was a bit like, ah, shush. Even yeah. though I love her, it was just like... Also, Into the Woods was actually surprisingly better than Yeah, I no, Into the Woods I actually... Thought, I thought it was going to be Probably like... Probably Disney did it. Horrible, yeah. They, knew, they know what, how to handle Yeah, no, things. now you've said that, actually, Into the Woods is the best adaptation. Okay, what do you think is the most underrated musical? Oh my god. Ghost. Um, yeah. Because it closed and they've ruined it now, but I'm I not gonna go it. into that. I, don't I haven't wanna. seen it because I don't want to. I don't know, because I don't think it is ghost, there's a lot. I I would have said Adam's family, but now it's touring the UK and they've got such like a well known star cast, cast it. it's gonna be big again. Big. But yeah, I would have said ghost, but then they've ruined that. Adam's family, but now it's big. Yeah. So I don't really know. Probably yeah, probably the little mermaid because it hasn't come over here. Mine would be seasonal. I mm, that love, is good. love that show. Yeah. It's so it's such a good show, but they only ha have given it little things for the UK to do, so I'm like, give it, Yeah, give it I'm trying to think there is something else. Oh, and from here to eternity. If you can buy the DVD to it of the filmed recording, watch it. Mm. They missed out the gay kiss in it. Oh. But it, it happens, but they like made sure they just didn't put it in on the film, but you know what happens. Actually made in Dagenham. I, I, didn't get to I see saw it. that three times. That Made in Dagenham was it. so good. It had such a Billy Elliot feel to it. Yeah, but Made in Dagenham. Everybody was raving about it, and I didn't get to see it. And I was like, oh, yeah. And Rock of, Rock of Ages, I absolutely love, adore. Love, love like, Rock of Ages. <sighs> yeah, Rock the of film, Ages. Like the film ruined it. No, the film's pants. They took out hands and fronts. I was like, they're like the best. They're the, they're the entertainment. They're so yeah, glorious. Don't just, do this. I sat front row and got chatted up by like the cast. I was like, yes. So I was. I got to go to the dressing room. Oh, apparently. So good. Yeah, Rock of Ages is so underrated. I think a lot of the rock musicals yeah. are really underrated, but they're so good because it's like. Jukebox musicals are just underrated. Yeah, both some some are some are for reasons. Yeah, like yeah. Overrated musical. <sighs> oh my god, there is one. Lion King. I think it's so overrated. Really? It's so overrated. Every time I've seen it, I've been disappointed. I've seen really? it twice. So I love the Lion King. Well, I think it was. I'm going to sound like a right nerd now. The sound they like the, whoever was mixing the sound the two times I've seen it. Like I'm sorry, the beginning of Circle of Life. You need to hear that. You know, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, like yeah. I can't sing that, but you know that whole bit. You need to hear it. Yeah, I missed it, and I was sat under a speaker. How did I miss it? Like. So after that, I was like, well, yeah, it's rubbish it. now. I've lost the whole show. Like, yeah. obviously, like, He Lives In You and He Lives In You reprise. That was all amazing. But I just think it's so overrated. Like, if somebody's like to me, oh, I'm going to go see The Lion King, I'd be like, oh, it's really good. Like, it's good, but don't don't expect too much. Yeah. Which I probably, like, I've obviously, like, third time lucky because three's my lucky number. I feel like I should give it another chance. Yeah. But I just think it's so overrated. See. And beautiful Carol King, so overrated. I haven't watched that yet. I just think it's really, I think it's quite boring. It's just the same thing. Uh, that was Jersey Boys for me. Yeah. Just can I, I can get into it. I, there was a standard ovation at the end, and yeah. my parents went, why? Also, fun fact, Jersey Boys, so obviously it's based on Frankie Valley and the Four mm -hmm. Seasons. Uh, this is like a huge spoiler if you haven't seen it. His daughter dies. He also has a stepdaughter who died as well. That wasn't in the musical, though. Obviously, part of the reason is because it would be too sad. But why have we missed out that as yeah. well? Like, yeah. So yeah, no, I agree with you. Yeah, right. But Lion King's so overrated. <laughs> um, <laughs> what musical made you cry? Hello, Miss Ghost, Kinky Boots. <laughs> once, once oh, killed I me, and it was all the guys that once really made cry. Not the guys. Yeah. It, like, it's just they. How they did it was so subtle that it just. Because it's close, I can kind of talk about it. Um, there's this moment when it's like they could save a relationship or it could be lost, 
and she says I love you to him but not in English so he can't understand what she says and then that's it it that's it they, it's it's done no, and, it I was just like, like that. and then it's just like yeah because then he gets back with his ex and it's just like I mean you just oh know you know there's no, no happy li there's <laughs> no happy ever after it's just literally like oh my gosh she should have changed the freaking language she would have got him it's just like fine and you don't even see the ex-girlfriend on stage other than like twice the rest of it she's ensemble it's just like what? It's so good. Want, please bring the once back. It I need to see that. Like, oh. I mean, you get to go on stage and have a drink and be on stage while yeah, performing. Yeah, that'd be so cool. So good. Ghost out of everything, I just sobbed like baby. And what musical made you laugh though? Laugh? I can't say. I've never laughed so much in my entire life. Was it good? Life. It was so funny. Like, I actually thought it was so funny. Rock of Ages, I laugh so hard. Yes. Wicked, I laugh because there's so many, like, yeah. theatre puns in there. No, Book of Mormon. I'm no, and Avenue it. Q. Avenue Q. Avenue Q, yes. Yeah, Book of Mormon, Avenue I laughed Q. so hard. Avenue Q kills me every time it's I see the, it. I saw it with my mum, so... <laughs> I saw it with my mum. There we go. It's the, um, when the puppets are all, like, having sex on stage. It's that. I'm done. I'm just... <laughs> that so good. I'm done. So funny. Oh, play-wise, I know we're talking about musicals, yeah. but play-wise, anything by Mischief Theatre, so a play that goes wrong. I need to see the play that goes comedy wrong. Comedy about bank robbery, any of us, go, go. I need to see them. Oh, so good. Right. There should be a question like, what's your favourite national production? Ooh. Like the Nash. Yeah. The Nash. I love the Nash. Anyway. <laughs> Are there... Oh yeah, this one. Are there any musicals you saw and hated? Oh, Miss Saigon. I'm that person. I can't even respond to that, so we will just... We'll I was just, so bored. I can't hear that. I was so bored. There was an X-Men premiere going on in Leicester Square and I'd rather gone to see that and I don't really like X-Men. I gave it another chance and went again I thought it was better. Like, see. Uh, how do I explain it? I appreciate Miss Saigon's music outside of the musical. Which I know sounds really stupid, like I'll listen to the soundtrack, but I don't like the musical. I saw it at least three times. I'm I so judged. Three times. I should really watch the are. DVD. Yes. Yeah, I don't like it at all. It's okay. I respect it. Oh, that. and I think producers is pants. Yeah, I didn't love it. Jason Mansford was in it. No, I thought it was pants. Um, my one was all the fun at the fair. Oh I've my gosh. That. Good. <laughs> it did one tour and it, it it went. It was in the West End for ages and I don't get it. It was David Essex's musical. But it was literally, there is it was literally a point where the whole back two rows of people I knew hated it. Oh god. And I, I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, the battery's going. No! Right. We need to hurry. <laughs> uh, what musical do you want to see as a film? Mm, Raid and Dagenham, but it is a film. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, if they did Matilda, which I know they yes. are, Matilda the musical as a film, yes. Yes. which I know they are doing. Yes. So, but but as always, two mentions involved. And Aida, they need to do Aida. Yeah, they just need all Disney stuff. Mhm. Mm right. This is what happens when the camera dies. Like, yeah. Crap, I need to hurry. Okay. Favorite all-time musical. This is our last question. Lame Miss and Kinky Boots. Kinky. So a happy and a sad. Yeah. Kinky Boots. And Matilda, I think, and Rent. Rent's my all-time favourite forever. Rent. I need to it's see so, Rent. It's so, so, so good. Right, and favourite stage you space? That'll be the last one. Well, I was gonna have this it's got to be the Theatre Cafe in London. Yes. Yeah, and I loved Stardust Diner in New York, but oh, I wish I'd gone there more. Yeah, hundred percent. The 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 so if you love this video, why not subscribe below? <laughs> so yeah, go and check out Coral's channel. Yay, check this out. Yay. Yeah. So yeah, there'll be new videos soon and there'll probably be new videos of us like going to Theatre Caf and stuff like I that. I am certain that will happen. Some yes. is just around the corner. Plus, I have Disney vlogs on my channel. Yes, she so does. I have a series going on right now, so just, just a cheeky so, plug. Little plug. <laughs> So, yeah. loads of Disney and theatre stuff on both of our channels, so check them out. See you later, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, 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 bye. bye.